Hey guys, this is Amit and you are watching Tech Dad. In this video, we are going to compare between Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite versus OnePlus Nord CE 5G. And we will discuss which one is better in camera, performance, display, body of the devices, features, communication chips and about the prices. In the end of the video, I will tell you which one is better according to me. So watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Let the comparison start with the camera of the devices. Talking about the rear camera of the devices, 11 Lite have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, and 5 megapixel of macro camera. Whereas Nord CE have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, and 2 megapixel of depth sensor. So I will call it a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same camera specs which can create good amount of depth of field in the photos and about the front camera of the devices 11 light have 16 megapixel of wide camera whereas Nord CE have 16 megapixel of wide camera so it's a tie because both of the devices have same camera sensors let's talk about the camera features of the devices 11 light have dual led flash hdr and panorama whereas Nord have led flash hdr and panorama so the winner here is 11 light because it have dual led flash and about the video recording options in the devices, 11 Lite can shoot 4K video max at 30fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization. Whereas Nord can shoot 4K video max at 30fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization. So it's a tie here because both of the devices have same recording specs. Moving to the performance of the devices, let's start with the operating system of the devices. 11 Lite have Android 11 support, on the other side Nord have Android 11 support too, so it's a tie. And about the user interface of the devices, 11 Lite have MIUI whereas Nord have OxygenOS. So it's a tie because both of the user interface have different UI. So it's up to you which UI you like it or not, it's up to you. Let's talk about the processor of the devices. 11 Lite is powered by Snapdragon 732G 5G based on 8 nanometer processor. It is not is powered by Snapdragon 750G 5G based on 8 nanometer processor. So the winner here is not because it has slightly faster processor, which gives you slightly faster processing speed. And about the GPU of the devices, 11 Lite is packed with Adreno 618, whereas Nord is packed with Adreno 619. So again, the winner here is not because it can give you more FPS in games. Let's talk about the clock speed of the devices. 11 Lite can clock at 2.3 GHz based on Octa Core Creo chipset. Whereas Nord can clock at 2.2 GHz based on Octa Core Creo chipset. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it has faster clock speed. And about the RAM variants in the devices, 11 Lite have three options 4, 6, and 8 GB, whereas Nord have three options 6, 8, and 12 GB. So the winner here is Nord because it has bigger capacity of RAM. Let's talk about the internal storage of the devices. 11 Lite comes with 64 and 128 GB of storage, whereas Nord have two options. 128 and 256 gigabytes. So the winner here is Nord because it have bigger storage option. And about the external storage of the devices, 11 Lite have shared card slot, whereas Nord did not have any. So the winner here is 11 Lite. Moving to the display features of the devices, let's start with the display size of the devices. 11 Lite have 6.55 inches of display, whereas Nord have 6.43 inches of display. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have a bigger screen size. And about the screen to body ratio of the devices, 11 Lite have approximately 85.3%, whereas Nord have 84.9%. So it's a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same ratio. Let's talk about the screen resolution of the devices. 11 Lite comes with Full HD Plus display, on the other side, Nord have Full HD Plus display, so it's a tie. And about the display type of the devices, 11 Lite have AMOLED display having 90Hz of refresh rate. Whereas Nord have Fluid AMOLED display having 90Hz of refresh rate. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have SDR10 support which makes the display more color vibrant and produces more darker black. Moving to the body features of the devices, let's start with the thickness of the devices. 11 Lite have 6.8mm of thickness whereas Nord have 7.9mm of thickness. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have slimmer body. Talking about the weight of the devices, 11 Lite comes with 157 grams of weight whereas Nord have 170 grams of weight. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have a lower body weight. And about the protective glass of the devices, 11 Lite have Gorilla Glass 5, whereas Nord have Gorilla Glass 3. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have newer generation of glass, which is more durable than its older generation. 
Let's talk about the build quality of the devices. 11 Lite have glass back with plastic frame, whereas Nord have plastic back with plastic frame. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have solid build quality. And about the same options in the devices, both of the devices have dual nano SIM support, so it's a tie. Moving to the some of the most important features of the devices, let's start with the fingerprint scanner of the devices. 11 Lite have side mounted fingerprint scanner, on the other side Nord have under display fingerprint scanner. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it have physical scanner which is more faster than under display fingerprint scanner. And about the sensors in the devices, 11 Lite have accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity and compass, whereas Nord have accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity and compass. So again it's a tie. Let's talk about the battery capacity of the devices. 11 Lite have 4200 mAh battery capacity, whereas Nord have 4500 mAh battery capacity. So clearly the winner here is Nord because it have bigger battery capacity. Let's talk about the charging speed of the devices. 11 Lite have 33 watts of fast charging, whereas Nord have 30 watts of fast charging. So clearly the winner here is 11 Lite because it can charge up the device at faster speed. Let's talk about the loudspeaker of the devices. 11 Lite comes with dual speakers, whereas Nord have normal speakers. So the winner here is 11 Lite because it can produce immersive sound. And about the headphone jack of the devices, 11 Lite did not have any 3.5mm of headphone jack, whereas Nord have. So the winner here is Nord. Moving to the communication chips in the devices, starting with the WLAN of the devices. Both of the devices come with Wi-Fi AC, dual band Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct and Hotspot, so it's a tie. And about the Bluetooth version of the devices, 11 Lite have 5.1 generation of Bluetooth, whereas Nord have 5.1 generation of Bluetooth. So it's a tie because both of the devices have same generation of Bluetooth. Let's talk about the positioning chips on the devices. 11 Lite have AGPS, GLONASS, Galileo and BDS, whereas Nord have dual band AGPS, GLONASS, Galileo, BDS and Navic. So the winner here is Nord because it have dual band AGPS and Navic chip. And about the USB connectivity of the devices. 11 Lite have second gen of Type-C connector with OTG support, whereas Nord have second gen of Type-C connector with OTG support. So it's a tie. Moving to the price of the devices in the international market, 11 Lite is around 270 US dollars, whereas Nord is available from 330 US dollars. In the Indian market, 11 Lite have starting range from 22,000 rupees, whereas Nord CE is available from 23,000 rupees. So the conclusion of the video is in the camera, it's a tie. In the performance, the winner is Nord. In the display, the winner is 11 Lite. In the body segment, the winner is 11 Lite. In the features of the device, the winner here is 11 Lite. In the communication chips, it's a tie. And about the prices, the winner is Nord. So the decision is totally yours. Which device you like the most so far? And let me know in the comment below. What do you think which device is better for you? So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like our content, please like our video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Comment what you thought in the comment below. If you're watching this video on Facebook, please like our page tag dad. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's my Instagram ID on the screen. This is Amit and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.